Extra is watching out for you and your health. Even though we're still living in a pandemic, doctors say now is still the time of year you got to get your flu shot. Health experts are pleading, do not skip your flu shot this year. Joining us live to explain why is the medical director at Humana, Dr. Richard Smith. Good morning, Dr. Smith. Good morning to both of you. Well, you know, the thing that's on the forefront of everyone's mind is we're getting these vaccines now for COVID. And should you still get a flu shot even if you're getting vaccinated? And do they have any effect uh, with each other when they're taken together? Um, so the first question, um, should you get a flu shot? Absolutely. Uh, just like you need a COVID vaccination to protect you from COVID, you do need a flu shot to protect you from flu. Um, we expect that this might be a more serious flu season than we had last year. So it's even more important to get your flu shot. Your second question was, do they interact with each other? Can you get them together? And that answer is yes. There's no problem with getting them both at the same time. One doesn't make you more susceptible to catching, you know, either flu or COVID, uh, getting them. So uh, it's best to get them together if you still need a COVID vaccination. And it's very important to get your flu shot now. You know, I know I, I get my flu shot every season and typically my arm's a little sore the next day. I'm a little bit, you know, feeling a little groggy. It had the same thing happen with the COVID-19 vaccine after my second shot, you know, felt a little under the weather. And, and that is your body's natural response to developing that immunity. Do you anticipate that being worse for anyone who is doubling up and getting those vaccines uh, either at the same time or very close together? Uh, it, it, since you could react to either one with those symptoms, mild fever, aches, um, pains, those sorts of symptoms, uh, it might be a little more common if you get them together, uh, but no more common than, than uh, your past experience, as you've noted. Mm. It happens pretty much every year. Uh, you usually get them in different arms, so maybe you'll have two arms that are sore instead of one. I'd certainly rather take two sore arms over a trip to the hospital, that's for sure. Uh, what have you noticed, doctor, in terms of uh, flu during the pandemic? Are we following our normal pattern that we normally follow? We didn't last year. Uh, so during the flu season last year, there was a lot more social, social isolation, a good bit of mask wearing um, as children were out of school. Um, this year, uh, there's less mask wearing. Um, more people are vaccinated for COVID children are back in school, we do expect greater transmission of flu this year. So I don't think it will be quite as, as lenient as it was last year. Now we saw, uh, you know, a really large focus on uh, the elderly here with the COVID-19 pandemic as being one of the groups most susceptible to getting seriously ill from coronavirus. Which age groups are most susceptible for influenza? Yes, um, that would be individuals over 65, as you mentioned with COVID, uh, children younger than two, especially younger than six months, pregnant women, and anyone who is immunocompromised who doesn't have a fully functioning immune system. So those would be most at risk. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this is really important information. Uh, people should get their flu shots and you don't have to worry about having been vaccinated to get it. Uh, Dr. Richard Smith from Humana, thank you for joining us.